Welcome to a new edition of the Touristing Club. Welcome to Madrid. Madrid, for many, is the gateway to continental Europe. We began the tour in Bourbon, Madrid, with its premier exhibit, the Royal Palace, and the Baroque atmosphere of Barrio de las Letras. Then we go to the Austrias area, where we discover preserved traces of the Renaissance in the center of Plaza Mayor. Today, the square welcomes visitors with its bars and terraces as a starting point to get to know old Madrid. Madrid is also famous for its doors, such as Puerta de Alcala. This was one of the royal gates that gave access to the city. Puerta del Sol is the kilometer zero of Spain. From there, we went up Carita Street toward the Barrio de las Letras, where love of culture is in the air. With vibrant squares like Plaza de Santa Ana full of life, and in the shadows of Cervantes and Quivido. Or we can follow the flow of pedestrians from the Montera and Prichado shopping streets. And after a short walk, find ourselves on the Gran Via, Madrid's Great Avenue, which is itself a monument. Madrid has some of the best museums in the world. The Paseo del Arte brings together three of them in just two kilometers. The Prado National Museum, the Reina Sofia National Art Center Museum, and the Tissenborn Misa. They display works of art by El Grico, Velasquez, Goya, Picasso, Monet, and Van Gogh, among hundreds of other artists. New offerings have been added to the usual restaurants and taverns, more than 20 Michelin star restaurants, a wide variety of gastronomic options, new spaces dedicated to coffee, and a good number of new taverns and gastropubs that keep the tradition of tapas alive. Squid sandwiches, Madrid stew, patatas bravas, tripe, and scrambled eggs are five iconic dishes of Madrid cuisine. On the outskirts of Madrid, we can visit San Lorenzo de El Escorial, one of the municipalities with the most tourist interest. Another nearby site is the Royal Palace of Uranruz, built on the banks of the Tagus River. It was the vacation home of the kings when they wanted to escape from the hustle and bustle of the capital. Here is Alcala de Henares, birthplace of Miguel de Cervantes. And from one of the fabulous stations in Madrid, we catch a high-speed train that will take us to historic cities such as Toledo, Segovia, and Cuenca. Visit them during the day and come back in the evening. Any excuse to visit Madrid is a good one, including its art, sports, music, architecture, and food. Madrid is the capital of an empire 
that is reborn with each visitor. Any time of the year, Madrid embraces you.